Hello everyone, welcome back to all of you in the Smelly Army. So, a slightly different style of video today, which I'm just putting together to talk about Dior Sauvage Parfum uh, and the furore that has been blown up in the last few days, apparently, uh, about Dior's advertising campaign. So the company have got themselves in a little bit of trouble with people because they published an advert, a marketing campaign, publicising the new release, Dior Sauvage Parfum, of interest to all of us here in the fragrance community. And they were forced to pull the advert after furious critics accused them of racism, tokenism, and fetishising um, indigenous American culture. So the long-time face of the Sauvage brand, Johnny Depp, the famous American actor, appeared in the advert, which Dior claimed was an authentic journey into the Native American soul in a sacred founding and secular territory. Now, the advert was released and a lot of people were outraged that the brand used indigenous people and imagery to, to market this product. Particularly, actually, some people were complaining that because it's called Sauvage, that's pretty close to the word savage, which would be a, a rather unpleasant epithet that perhaps used to be hurled at Native Americans. So that was one thing that upset a lot of people. Also, even apparently somebody's complained about the use of the description of warm oriental tones in the fragrance as potentially having racist undertones. That seems a bit far-fetched. Uh, but the main thing was that there was a man in a, a Native American headdress who was filmed in this now deleted clip that's hard to find. I haven't actually seen it myself. So he's wearing the ceremonial Native American headdress and dancing out in a rocky outcrop in the desert. There was also a woman wearing animal hide who appeared to be a Native American. And uh, this has upset a lot of people. This idea of cultural appropriation where you perhaps use cultures of minority groups, perhaps groups who face dis discrimination, and maybe trivialise them, use them in advertising campaigns, pop videos, that kind of thing, even fashion design houses get in trouble. Now, I think it was uh, Carolina Herrera recently got in trouble for having a Mexican-inspired range launch. So th this kind of thing is a very, very touchy subject these days. So what do you think about that? Have you seen the advert? Do you think it was offensive? even racist or the, the least perhaps insensitive. Certainly I feel that it seems surprising that they didn't think ahead and think that this might cause a little bit of an issue with some people and uh, it hardly seems the most appropriate thing to use. The fragrance is a French fragrance. They're trying to sell it in America, but uh, I don't know really what the fragrance itself has to do with Native American people. However, I can't say I'm hugely offended by the idea, but it does seem a little unwise. On to the actual fragrance itself then. So I've done a little video with Greg from the Greggy Boy 76 channel where he unboxed his and we smelled it for the first time. I've also since then been along to my department store where it was being advertised by Johnny Depp quite uh, prolifically around the store, but not anything there that I noticed being to do with uh, Native American culture and I sniffed some and I got a sample of it so let's just talk about the fragrance perfumer on this one is Francois Demachy the main man over at Dior and the notes on the fragrance are uh, the top notes are bergamot and spicy mandarin in the mid we have sandalwood from Sri Lanka tonka and frankincense it's quite expensive this one so I think the 60 ml bottle is retailing in the UK at 74 pounds and the 100 ml uh, is 104 pounds uh, which is rather expensive for a designer fragrance the smell on this one is quite interesting it does retain a little bit of the original Dior Sauvage DNA of the eau de toilette, but it's much less sharp and screechy than that one. That was a little bit cocky in its smell, I felt. This one smells a little bit more grown up, um, and I think Francois de Marchi has also used the word that, that uses using slightly more nocturnal tones in this one. And it, it's indeed richer and a little bit more dark than the original fragrance. The sandalwood, a little bit of vanilla in there this incense note that I don't think we had in the original makes things smell a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more like a, a more mature man's fragrance, but you kill, still can sense that DNA of the original Sauvage, but much less so than in the original Eau de Toilette or in the Eau de Parfum version, which was released a couple of years later. And it seems that they're doing a kind of similar thing to Bleu de Chanel from Chanel, where there was an original Eau de Toilette. Then there was a rather similar Eau de Parfum, 
and a still quite similar parfum version, but the parfum definitely the darkest and most nocturnal perhaps smelling, the most grown up smelling, the uh, maybe the most sophisticated. Certainly the Sauvage Parfum takes a departure from the other two and is, I would say, in a category separate to those two it's really qualitatively different in the smell of the fragrance and it's rather good rather sophisticated however if you're a big time fragrance fan you're unlikely you know if you're a collector into niche fragrances this kind of thing you're unlikely to want to have any variant of sauvage because it's such a mainstream well-known fragrance and that dna of the smell is still there and recognizable however i do think it's a very well composed fragrance and of the three sauvages so far only having tried it from uh, a friend's bottle and this sample it's my favorite i won't be adding it to my collection yet but let me know if you've tried it and what you think about it and what you think about this furore over the advertising campaign that they've now pulled thanks ever so much for watching i'll be back very soon and let me know what you thought of this remember also whatever you're doing in life let's project bye bye don't forget if you'd like to join the smelly army private members club over on patreon there's a link in the description to do that it costs just two dollars a month and you get an extra video from me every week plus you get to watch everything i've already uploaded in there we're building a really nice community lots of interaction and i'd love to see you in there